Hello Libra, this is your weekly overall general focus for the week of September 10th to September 17th. This is also your weekly chakra clearance for the week of September 10th to September 17th. Dear love, there is so much happening this week and well, I feel like there has been some things that has like transpired already. So, I want to start with, you know, talking about this growth card and this workaholic card. So, love, you are a perfect reflection of what balance looks like, okay? You give the universe so much powerful energy because you know how to take your time and go over your decisions and even though it may be hard for you at times once you make a decision you don't normally go back on what you feel you normally stick it through and you say how you feel and this week dear love that is exactly what the universe is helping you to get back to is that balance okay it's asking you to get back to who you used to be but in a way of not in a way of who you used to be in a bad way but get back to who you really truly are inside so getting back to you is what i feel however this is also recognizing that you are here for a much greater purpose okay so with you dear love i feel a lot of i feel like this is a work related mostly um, and for some of you, this may be about a new job that you have just recently got, or this may be about someone that you have been dealing with, or this could be just family matters altogether. But I do feel for some of you very strongly that this is a work-related issue, okay? Now, I, for everyone else, I kind of did like, you know, the Celtic cross with all the cards for every sign but for you Libra your energy is very solid and like straight to the point so I had to put on my cards a certain way for you and for some reason I just kept hearing that a card needed to go here at the very top so what I'm feeling up here is that balance needed to go here because I feel like that is what's ahead of you that is who you are that is what you represent and so, I, when this card came out, I said, no, this needs to be ahead, okay? Libra, this is you. And when things in your life are not balanced, you are not yourself. You don't feel like yourself. You don't feel like you can accomplish much. You begin to have that l lack of self-confidence. And you just begin to get really irritated if your life is not balanced, okay? And even though it's like you love love and you love being around uplifting, positive, easygoing type of people, it's like you also can grow to get really irritated if you feel like somebody is like putting on a show or if you feel like somebody is not really being true to you. So I feel like this is really just about helping you to balance your emotions, to balance out your spirituality and to help you this week on collecting your thoughts is what I want to say okay so I'm gonna come back to that in a second but that is what I initially felt okay now the next thing is you have two heart chakras here and when two heart chakras come out dear love that is you know it represents so much, but that is your heart. That is what you are feeling, but that is your heart. And the overall impression of your heart chakra is love. So for some of you, like I said, this is a love situation, okay? But I feel like this is also asking you, this growth card is asking you to think, truly think about what have you accomplished, right? What was the most recent thing that you have accomplished? Accomplished, excuse me. And what are some of the things that you would like to accomplish? What have you outgrown? What have you outlived? What friendship do you need to let go of? What friendship do you need to begin? 
What relationship do you need to walk away from? Whether it's a business partnership or a love relationship, what is it that's causing you to feel this unnecessary, unbalanced energy? Okay? Now, your heart chakras can also be, because you also got the trickery card too, and you are not the only sign that's been getting this this month, so it's interesting because I believe Gemini, Capricorn, and Aquarius got this actually. So this is a really, uh, one of my favorite cards, but it's also a very strong card too. But this is definitely a deep desire to be loved, okay? And anytime, like I said, you got two of the same chakra in your reading, so it tells me that this is something I definitely need to discuss with you. Okay, now your heart chakras can focus on balance and harmony, brotherhood, or hope, or growth, or healing. Um, it can also be healing and love and peace and prosperity. Okay, so I do understand now, like I said, why you got the balance card. Because anytime you get your heart chakras, dear love, that's exactly, that's part of what it represents, your balance, okay? Are you balancing your energy? Are you allowing people to destroy you mentally and emotionally? Are you being focused? Are you focusing on the prize? Your heart chakra, dear love, relates to the matters of the heart, okay? And manifesting, we are always blocked if our heart is not in it. So there is, very, this is something very you know, poverty, okay, about every green card. So, you know, like I said, for you to get two of these, that means it is definitely very strong. And so, although each one can, like, indicate something different, right, like it can indicate different um, moments or maybe a personal choice, I feel like you are needing to make a decision this week, dear love. And the reason why I'm feeling that is because you got the five of air, you have life experience, and you have the eight of air. Now, life experience, I want to, I didn't want to talk about it, but I have to. So, in traditional tarot, the life experience card is the tower card. And so, I was going to use my regular tarot cards, but I chose to use my archangel cards because it's less scary. <laughs> so, the life experience card is, like I said, in traditional tarot card, that is the tower and this can simply mean that something is happening this week that is causing you to make a decision, like, right away. And you are not that good when it comes to making a decision. You go back and forth in your mind all the time. Okay, do I want it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Uh, you know, what should I do? Should I do it? No. I'm not sure if I should do it or not. Like, you tend to go back and forth. Even with yourself, even with your emotions, because you will normally have a hard time making a decision. But dear love, I'm here to encourage you to get it together. Because this week, it is, you know, letting you know that you have to make this decision, okay? Be careful not to make an unwise choice, okay? With you having a lot of, and again, for some of you, this could be a love situation, Maybe some of you did run into that past lover that I talked about in your love focus. And maybe you're having some hard time deciding if you want to give that person another chance or not. You know, or this can be, do I want to work it out with you or not? This is really a decision of saying, I'm not sure what I want to do, but I need to decide something like now, right? And so it's like the pressure is on. There's a lot of stress related to this stuff, right? Now, with the Queen of Fire here being, though, is, is saying to have confidence. You know, take that leap of faith. Be assertive, you know. Don't underestimate yourself. Stop questioning yourself because you know exactly what to do. You have all the answers, and yet you are still going back and forth in your mind about this decision. And again, I do feel like whatever the situation is, is definitely some type of powerful revelation that leads to change. And you got two cards here telling you to spread your wings, dear love. It is time to step into your assertive nature. It is time for you to be more bold in your decisions. It is now time for you to have that confidence in your decisions that you never had. So this week, again, it's all about getting back to you, okay? 
no more of this lack of self-confidence. You do know what to do. There is no need for you to feel trapped, dear love, because you are not trapped. It's just an illusion. Stop allowing your insecurities to play tricks on you, okay? And again, that's probably why you got the trickery card too, because this is like being afraid to take action. And you, you don't need to be afraid to take that action, dear love. You don't need to be afraid. I feel like I see manipulation here because there's a fear of being rejected. So it's like you are not really sure what to do. You're not really sure what to say or if you're even saying the right thing to these people. And if this is not a love relationship, then this is definitely work-related because I see miracle and workaholic here. Some of you you know, are working a little bit too hard. Some of you are overworking yourself, constantly, constantly working, not asking for help. And it's it's like some of you are almost on a burnout because you work so hard. But dear love, I, I feel like with, with love cards coming out in this work-related stuff, I feel like it's just causing you to say, you know what, do I really want to leave this job? You know, it may be a decision about leaving this job or it may be a decision about finding a new job for you. Okay, this is... Um, saying maybe I need to, you know, because I feel like, I'm going to get back to that point in a second, but I feel like you guys, you know, all work and no play, that's whack, right? So I feel like you guys need to tap more into that playful nature, and that's probably, again, this is probably why you got the balance card, but like I said, anytime you get two heart chakras here, it is definitely a, uh, some type of call for help or some type of need for emotional balance some type of need for physical balance okay and spiritual so because like i said life experience is a spiritual card as well now i want to talk about this these stretch your wings okay because you got one card saying it's time to spread your wings and then you have another card saying stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself that self-doubt that lack of confidence that being afraid to take action, you have to have confidence, dear love. Whatever the situation is, it's not that deep. I feel like a lot of you are overthinking. I feel like a lot of you are overanalyzing. It is not that deep, okay? However, it is something that happens, and it kind of shattered your thoughts a little bit. And it's, I feel like it just kind of made you feel uncertain for a while, right? Or maybe whatever the situation was, I feel like it may have just recently transpired. And it just got you this week just really thinking about it like, okay, no, I need to get this done because this is what's happened in my life and that transpired and I can never let that happen again. Like, I just feel like you're going to be a bit more assertive this week. Now, I do see you also having a lot of brilliant ideas and inspirations or being inspired by someone this week. So someone may come to you, someone of a more authoritative figure type person. Um, they may come to you and may begin to have conversations with you that inspire you to think outside the box. That may help you tap into your intellect. That can help you, you know, tap into that solar plexus, you know, that gut feeling. Now, this is also seeing the truth of a situation. So, <clears throat> again, I feel like with this life experience, I do feel that it is definitely something that Something that's going to be told to you, something that you will find out, something that was said either at work or between you and your spouse, maybe someone you know or love maybe said something that hurt your feelings this week or maybe it just made you think and made you, because even in your love focus, I remember talking to you guys and I remember telling you guys like you are not a person that like chaos, you don't like confusion and destruction like you enjoy love like you enjoy being happy and you are not yourself when things are not working out you know you kind of remind me of cancer a little bit like they don't they're not themselves when they don't have great love and the same is for you however it's more on a balance tip right like you are not yourself if your love life is not balanced properly so, again, with this life experience here in the Ace of Air, I just feel like you will begin to see the truth of a situation. So, you, somebody that's kind of been hiding something from you for a while, you may begin to find out the truth this very week. You may find out that somebody's been hiding some money or, <coughs> excuse
excuse me. I keep coughing. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's... Mm. Somebody's been lying to you. They have not been that honest. And I feel like you're going to find out whatever that is. You're finding it out this week. But I feel like this needed to happen because this, whatever this is, whatever this is, is going to help you um, kind of gather your thoughts. And it is going to force you to make that decision. So you don't have to, this week, you don't have to panic because those, that confidence that you need in regard to making decisions, I feel like you're going to be needing to step up to the plate a lot sooner just because whoever this person was, not only were they lying to you, but... They, I feel like they've been having trying to have other people turn against you, and then it, I see a lot of gossip. I see a lot of petty nature going on here. I just feel like it's somebody that just talking too much, somebody that just, or you know, or this may just be you not really communicating properly or not really sticking up for yourself and saying exactly what you feel. Now, I want to also bring this up because this has been happening in everyone's reading, which is this release card, okay? This release card has came out, when I say in everybody's reading, whether it's in our Archangel cards or in our Chakra cards, right? This release card has been popping up like crazy. And it, it just didn't surprise me when it popped up in your reading. So, <laughs> I'm going to just get straight to it. This is the end of a difficult phase or situation. But this is also spiritual transformation. Okay. Now with your heart chakras being here. Or no. With your balance card being here. This is also about transformation. This is also about finding that balance. Finding that one thing that completes you. So again... This is transformation. This is you making a change. This is you being more assertive this week, saying how you feel, no longer allowing people, you know, no longer being Mr. Nice Guy is what I feel, right? Like, yeah. And uh, like I said, I feel like some of the, and it's interesting because I remember doing your love focus and a lot of the same type of energy popped up where somebody is not being truthful about something. Like somebody is lying to you guys about something. And I don't know why I'm feeling that so strongly. But I do know that you're going to be putting a stop to all of that nonsense this week. Like, you're no longer tolerating it. I feel like some of you are getting a headache behind this situation or with this person because they just keep doing it. Like, they just keep lying. They just keep... And it's like, you ask for the truth and they look you right in the face and they won't even just say, yes. You know, yes, I have, you know, a credit card or yes, I, I lied about the girl or yes... Someone called my phone. Or, yes, he was flirting with me. Like, I just feel like somebody's just lying. Like, I don't know. And it's, and it's annoying me because I hate a liar. So, <laughs> it just really affected me. And I'm, I have no Libra in my birth chart at all. But I can only imagine what you guys are going through right now. So, but like I said, it is definitely time to move on. This, whatever this situation is, even if it is work-related or this is in your personal life with family, I feel like you kind of want to, this week is going to be like, can you mind your business? That That is what I'm going to be feeling for you guys. Like, you guys going to be saying, no, you need to mind your business. This has nothing to do with you. You're always in my business. You're always telling me and my spouse what to do. Or you are always telling me what to do with my money. Can you just please mind your business? Like, that, I just feel that for you. For some of you, anyway. Right? Now, for some of you... It's not going to even be about money. It's just going to be about the fact that they're lying. And you're going to be like, you know what? You, this is the third time that you've lied to me. I, how, can, how can we build anything or build any solid foundation when you're constantly lying to me? You need balance, Libra. So the fact that this person is feeling the need to, you know, approach you the way that they approach you with the lying. And you, you hate that. Like, you, you just can't stand it. And it's like, and, they, and this person, they know this. They know what irritates you. This is somebody who really knows you, Libra. And they, they just keep doing it. They just keep lying. And for some of you, if this is not a spouse, this is definitely somebody at work. Maybe they're trying to put, you know, throw you under the bus a little bit is what I feel. Like, they <coughs> whoever this person is at work, you can't trust them. 
Okay, so for a lot of you, this is work related. And whoever this person is, you cannot trust them. They have, you know, told lies about you in the past. They have, you know, said some things to other co workers that they should have had said. Or this can be somebody in your family for some of you. This can be someone in your family just always minding your business. Right? Like just, and the whole purpose of that is to be minding your own business. So I, I think you're going to be breaking that down to somebody this week. Okay? You're going to be kind of like, look, that's enough. Like you need to get out. Like get out of my house. Like that is what I feel for you. And honestly, Libra, I don't think it's just your energy. I think it's all air signs. Like, you guys are on the road this week. Like, honestly, that is what I'm feeling. Now, let's get to these cards over here, okay, before my time run out. So, I see the miracle card here. Now, I love when this come out because I don't think you're the only sign that got this either. But it's very beautiful, though. I love this. It's like an angel standing on a log, but it's like opening the doors for miracles for you. So, those brilliant ideas, dear love, please have confidence in your ideas um, especially if you run your own business or if you've been thinking about running your own business, this is a brilliant idea this week, especially because we had that new moon energy come in. So please, please pay attention to all the details, pay attention to all of the contracts, pay attention to this person that is talking to you and what they're trying to tell you. Um, do not try to manipulate the situation. Just be honest and say exactly what you need. And everything you ask for this week, you shall receive, okay? And I know I'm a little bit late with this reading, but I feel like for you, dear love, I don't even think it matter because a lot of these things are going to be happening this weekend, okay? So this is your chakra clearance also for the week of September 10th to the 17th. So this is the solar plexus energy. So pay attention to that gut feeling. Pay attention to that intellectual feeling, okay? That that thought that just keep nagging at you and it won't go away and it won't go away. And it's telling you to pursue your business or it's telling you to find another job. Follow your instincts, dear love, okay? But I do see you looking at the truth of a situation. But I feel like the beginning of this week was quite challenging because you were still trying to bounce back from all this crazy Pisces full moon energy that we had. But it's like this week, by the end of this week, like Sunday or Monday, by the 18th, the latest, right? You should have a lot more clarity. But keep in mind, with this new moon coming, dear love, this is the perfect time to manifest what you want. This is the perfect time to write your goals down. This is the perfect time to tell the universe, I'm going after that job, right? Or I'm going after that promotion, right? So this is the perfect time to manifest what you want, to follow that gut feeling. This is the perfect week to do it. This week, dear love, was all about hidden blessings. So some of you, look out for the mail, okay? Check your inbox. Look at your emails, those unexpected phone calls, right? Those phone calls that you forgot, those meetings that you forgot that you had this week. Pay attention to all of it because there is divine guidance in everything that we do this week. Okay, because this energy this week is preparing us, dear love, for that new moon in Virgo. And I'm excited, especially for you, because Virgo is intellectual just like you. And so I feel like you're going to be picking up this energy and running with it, okay? So if some of you have been having this brilliant idea about school or about, you know, maybe starting your own business, I'm, I'm encouraging guys and I'm a strong believer, I'm, I'm a great supporter for anybody that's willing to start their business. I think it's wonderful. I think it's a good thing to do. Um, so, you know, like I said, just relax and pay attention to all the details because you will be seeing the truth of a situation. This week, we will be feeling that new moon Vir in Virgo energy. We will be feeling it. So again, it's all about that hidden blessings. It's all about new beginnings and starting over, okay? Now, also with this miracle card is that you cannot shut out pain without shutting out pleasure. So again, dear love, when it comes to love, I just feel like these, this situation just had to happen. But I feel like you're going to bounce right back from it. It's nothing to fear. It's nothing to get crazy over. I just feel like you guys will bounce back, okay? Yes, 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 indeed. Like I said, with this release card being here, it is definitely the end of a phase or difficult situation. But like I said, in traditional tarot card, this is the death card, okay? Now, for you to have life experience and release, 
I don't, I don't want to say this, but it could be an actual death of someone that you know, okay? And I hate to say that, but I, I don't want you guys to miss anything. So, but I, so I have to be honest. This can be, because this is life experience, which means that it's going to cause you something is going to happen where it's going to be causing you guys to be attentive. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to shake you up a bit. I don't know what it is, but thank you, universe. I just, I just had wanted you guys to know that, okay? Because the release card, like I said, traditional tarot card, this is the death card, okay? And just like you know, because it is, it say release here, but it does. The death card does represent endings and new beginnings. And that is what I feel for you here with the Ace of Air and the Miracle card combined. That is what I feel for you. I do see some endings and I do see new beginnings. But I also see combined the release card with the Tower card that this could be an exact death of someone that you know. Okay. Um, because like I said, it says a powerful revelation that leads to change. So, for some of you, this is not death. And I, when I say death, I don't mean you guys. So, please don't get scared, okay? I just mean that it, it can be really someone you know or someone that you knew in the past, maybe. So, this is definitely a significant life event. Now, this is the thing, the interesting thing about this, okay? Because the, the life experience card can also be life experience. It can be a wedding. It can be pregnancy. It can be death as well you know it can just be something that, that just take place it can be anything so this can be losing a job this can be quitting a job whatever it is it just represents some huge amounts of change and with the release card being here like i said this represents the death card in traditional tarot and so it, this is another card talking about some drastic change so again like i said in the very beginning i do see transformation I do see transformation here, dear love. I do see transformation. Something is taking place either outside of your home or in your love life or in your personal life. It's something or somebody that you know that may pass away or may just be an end to a, a true difficult situation. Maybe some of you were going through depression. Maybe some of you, um, I don't know, maybe you will... I don't know. I just see some type of change, man. And like I said, this could be a wedding. This could be marriage. This can be engagement. This can be pregnancy. But this can also be death, okay? And not exactly for you, but definitely for someone that you know. And it, it normally I hate to, because it, it, my energy is that sensitive that it's like I hate to pour out negative energy. But this is not negative. This is just me being realistic with you guys. So I hope that... You know, you guys don't get offended by this, but it's the truth, okay? And so, again, and this may not, all of you may not go through it. For some of you, it may just be engagement. For some of you, it may be pregnancy. For some of you, you may experience that death from a family member or someone you know that's close to you. So, for each and every one of you, it's going to be a different type of life experience. So, please don't get scared, okay? And like I said, with this release card teamed up with this life experience, it is definitely, if this is not any of those things, then this is just simply you transforming to a whole complete different person. This is just you changing everything about who you are as a person, about your career, about your life, you as a woman, you as a man, you stepping into your new self. This can just be you, rebirth, okay, rebirthing new ideas and becoming a whole different person. That is what that can mean, okay? So again, with this Queen of Fire here, though, it does say don't, un don't underestimate yourself, assert your independence and your creativity. Because a lot of you are workaholic and you do need that balance, but a lot of you also have that spiritual and mental growth and you are asking yourself, what am I outgrowing? What is... You know, what am I too old for now, right? I do desire love, but I'm willing to wait for the right type of love, right? I'm no longer just settling or just going with the flow. I am waiting for that one true love. So, dear love, this was your overall weekly, and it was very 
deep, dear love. I just felt so much heavy energy in my heart just now. So this was very heavy and it was very strong. I, I, I really asked the universe to give you courage to get through the situation because I feel like you're going to need it. And I just ask the universe to give you clarity, okay? So this was your weekly overall general focus. This is also your chakra clearance for the week of September 10th to September 17th. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please check out my website, g1insights.org. It should be at the top of the video. If it's not, just kind of check below. I'm sure I wrote it somewhere. So I love you guys. Bye.